There are so many people now connected to Birmingham City University, there is now no longer room for them in Birmingham. <laughs> so we have to move them down here. Believe me, this is just the start. Come the weekend, we'll have reached the coast. <laughs> many of you have graduated from the BCU, whether recently or not so recently. For those of you who graduated in the 70s, I'm looking over there. <laughs> I've got some cracking jokes about the Anedian line coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Young people are going, you are. Um, it doesn't matter when you graduated, you'll always have that unbreakable connection with the university. Together forever. Like Liam and Noel Gallagher, or <laughs> the cast of Friends, or, or the European Union. These things were built to last, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, other people here tonight are uh, honorary doctorates, current students, and a bloke in the back who's here for the meat raffle. <laughs> you're, you're all very welcome indeed. Uh, we're also privileged to have amongst us a number of luminaries from BCU, including Louise Brooksmith, where are you? Raise your hand wherever you are. And Tracy Westall, both members of our Board of Governors. We've got Julian Beard, Deputy Vice Chancellor. Where are you, Julian? Hello. He's got the quiff of doom. <laughs> We've got Pro Vice Chancellors and Executive Deans David Roberts and Keith Horton. Where are you guys? Uh, we're really glad to see you all here this evening, ladies and gentlemen. So enjoy the hospitality, mink with old friends, make some new ones, but do be careful who you go home with because they'll all be on Facebook tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> People are laughing, going, yeah, we know. So why are we all here? Why are we here this evening? Let me explain. Firstly, to forge new links, new relationships. Let me hear you say, yeah. Yeah. yeah! Secondly, to share with you the story of BCU's transformation and that of the city in which we are based. I'm talking about Birmingham. Let me hear you say, yeah! yeah. yeah. Finally, we've something we'd like to ask you. Let me hear you say, oh Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come to that shortly, but rest assured it won't involve your wallets or removing any articles of clothing or anything like that. In terms of the first point, <laughs> did somebody go, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you later on. <laughs> In terms of the first point, we want tonight to form the basis of a strong and enduring network. BCU in London, where graduates and friends of BCU based here or with business interests in the capital can come together to forge professional links that recognise what you have in common and the expertise you have here in your various disciplines. Both online and in person, the aim of BCU in London, the reason we're here tonight in the capital, is to bring BCU alumni together in a formidable network of professionals whose careers have been impacted by our university. Now you can find lots of information on your programme and speak to Christine from the alumni team for more details. Sorry, Christine, Christine's waving at you there. Um, on the transformation of BCU in our home city, you can see the story of the university on the screens just here and in the prospectuses in front of Should that be prospectuses or prospecti in front of me? <laughs> by the way, may I just draw your attention to a particularly excellent contribution by some bloke from Dudley on page five? <laughs> <laughs> you can cut it out and frame it. <laughs> I did. Now, uh, it's genius. Uh, now, pictures are so much more expressive than words. So I'm not going to say too much more. Ah, oh, you can say it. Oh. Uh, it's a bit like a roll from Frank's kid. Um, so I'm not going to say too much more. But do take a look at what's happened to the University of Lake. For example, um, its transformation of the east side of the city. The new conservatoire, which is about to open in September on the city centre campus, the first in a generation in the UK. And check out the city south campus in Edgebaston. <laughs> One person there going woo hoo, it's a damn shame. <laughs> With fantastic new sports and health science facilities also set to open before the end of the year. Add to that the changes that have literally transformed the city over the past decade, and it's small wonder we want to shout about it. In fact, one of the reasons we wanted to hold this BCU event here tonight is to show London, <laughs> to show bloody London, that despite what's happening in the West Midlands, we don't necessarily think the world revolves around Birmingham. <laughs> Some cool things come out of London too, okay? Like the high speed service to Birmingham. <laughs> I can't wait for that. Now finally, um, most more requests I talked about earlier. I don't know how 40 minutes to problem. We want to ask students to be as prepared as possible for the world of work they will enter when they graduate, okay? We know it's more important than ever that our students who are, as we speak, making a huge investment in their education, we want them to get as much out of their three or four years with us as possible. I want to ask you, graduates and friends of BCU, to think about ways you might be able to support us in supporting the next generation of BCU graduates. For instance, can you, 
give a talk to our students and share your career and industry sector insights. Can you do that? Yeah. Yes. Can you? Yeah. 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 Provide placements and work experience at your company. Oh. Yeah. Can, did somebody say, oh? <laughs> <laughs> Take the boy out of Goodley. <laughs> Can you act as a mentor for a student? Yes. Uh, can you facilitate visits for students to your company? Uh, 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 can you keep saying, oh, but you might have to provide a pie? <laughs> oh, well, I'll give them a pie as well on the way home. If you can help, we've, we've made it nice and easy for you by handing out lovely cards you to fill with your pledges of support. And there are a couple of boxes here at the front to pop them into. Alternatively, you can speak to Joe Howell from our careers team. Where are you, Joe? She's just waving from our careers team. Or to Christina. Christina, wave again from the alumni team. Or to any of the BCU team here tonight. Please give generously of your time, experience, and expertise to support the next generation of BCU. Let me say next generation. Next generation. So thank you very, very much. It's a pleasure to see you all here tonight. And I wish you a very lovely evening. And don't forget, be careful who you go home with tonight. <laughs> it's going to be tweeted within seconds. Thank you so much for listening to me, please.